when you work with artists and and you kind of always have to become friends with them at a point because you're in the studio all the time and then everybody is happy when you do 70 percent of the work and you tell them hey let's do 50 50 on the rights but then but then they complain then they complain like yeah you know uh for my next album i want to have more choice i want to do like this i want to do like that da, 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 da. i feel like my album is your album i said no your album is our album since i i actually did all the instrumentals i helped you find the melodies uh then i corrected a lot of your ideas and then we do it 50 50 so it's our work <laughs> It's, and, it's understandable, and, I think. I think no, I understand, but you, you know what I mean? Like when somebody does oh, their no, first album, you know, when somebody does their first album, you know how to, at the same time, give them enough, uh, enough, how you say? Uh, room? Enough room, exactly. You give them enough room to express themselves between track seven and track 15. You're like, hey, mm -hmm. listen, Here's some beats, or do you want to work with somebody in particular? I, I can buy some beats, so I can. If you want to work with somebody, I know I can. I can make some calls. Like nobody will say no to me. Yeah. So yeah. you give them that, but then between track one and six, you tell them, "Hey, listen, this is this is to sell your album. This will sell your album. So on this, you have to trust me." And on the first album, they always trust you. Then then they become famous, and then they forget how they become famous because they believe they become famous because they are so talented and now they want to call all the shots and yeah listen you want to have you want to have a specific direction for your album i'm all for it but me my role is to make sure that you sell your albums because if you don't sell your albums then your career is going to be in jeopardy and then you're going to look at me like oh it's your fault <laughs> So because when it doesn't work, it's always someone else's fault. Yeah. So you tell them, hey, listen, let's uh, track one to six. Let's fill the cahier des charges. We need exactly. we need one zook. We need a hit zook. We need a kizomba hit. We need a compa zook hit. We need a, a compa slow jam zook uh, thing, and we need another zook. After track seven, let's try stuff. Uh, you know, in this album of this artist, I, I did this and it worked. It really found a public in this country. I think it would be great for you to go to this country. So, hey, this is a proposal of a beat. And uh, in your first album, this work, this work, this work, this work. So I made some clones. And then better oh, version. Oh, no, this is not No, I want, no, I don't want. Hey, no, listen. No, no, no. Now me, I really wanna. <laughs> and then, they, because they go on tour with other artists who are dumber than them, and they all talking between themselves, giving themselves bad ideas, <laughs> all of them. And then they come back with, oh, I wanna. And when know, they talk to themselves, they feel like they all make sense, huh? They yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. I find amazing about them. Like they, and they're so convinced of everything oh, that they, they say. It's like, and, and, and because, because they, they, they're trying to, to impress other people who, and they don't like each other, but they are trying to, to impress each other. And they all give themselves bad information. And they're like, oh, you know me, I shoot da 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 da. Or, and it's funny because you're gonna do music, of course it's gonna sound like you as a beat maker, but you're gonna create a universe that sounds, that is specific to that artist. And this is what is making them successful but then they will try to go with everybody else to follow the trends when it's actually being unique that made you successful but of course then you have the managers you have and then they, whenever there's a new person that has a hit everybody want to do the same thing and you there now listen let's stay in our lane and then we can protect our brand and if we have like all these songs that have a, a certain sound a certain thing and then and then we, we then we can still follow the trend in the end or maybe set some new trends 
but at least we need to have our own personality in our sound and they're like no 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 i want to and then yeah second album it never works and and you tell them hey i did the mistakes so i'm trying to prevent you from making it but because you are becomes you because you become friends with people that you work with you're gonna have yeah. this um you're gonna have this impossibility to act right and this is me i, I know it's a mistake i did a lot uh as a producer um as an exec is i didn't enforce some rules because i wanted the artist to still have the last word and i would like are you assuming what you and 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 for me i would take the the songs that they don't want to do i will give them to other artists so to me it's it's fine like you don't want it i'll give it to somebody else and then that somebody else will do a hit with it but yeah you know like after a point you ask yourself if you shouldn't have been more no it's like that but then the problem is it's how you work with people when they start having resentment and you are trying to help their career but now they they're always angry because they're like yeah you don't support me yeah you know you never support my choices da 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 da, da. i want to be myself i don't want to be your 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 your, your thing it's like you do your ideas in your albums. All right, listen. I remember on the third album of one artist, she arrived with all these, and I was all, I was like, I right, listen. Tell me exactly what you want to do. I want to do this. I want to do that. Then I want to do this, 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 this. And I want to work with this guy. I want to work with that guy. I want to do this. Da, da, da. And I was like, okay. Do you want some beats from me? Yeah, yeah, I want some of them, but I want to choose my beats. I want to, I want to, I want to choose by myself what I want. Okay. Okay. Give me the list of every beat maker you want to work with. Because at that point, I was so big in the game that all I need is to take my phone. So give me the list of everybody you want to work with and uh, come home, choose some beats. She came home, start choosing some beats. Like, I want this one, I want that one, I want this, I want that. Okay, cool. Then, um, <laughs> then uh, she gave me the list of the people she want to work with. So, yeah. hello, yep. Yeah, whatever, yep, it's Keisha. Oh, hey, the king. Yeah, what up? Hey, uh, I'm finished, I'm doing the third album of this artist. Uh, I was wondering if you, you had some beats. Oh, of course. It's okay. So then I do those, I get like three, four, five beats from all these beat makers. And I tell the artist, okay, create your project. And I let, yeah, this all, I'm just making sure that it doesn't fall in the traps. I'm just, and the artist does a thing. I'm like, do you need help with the melodies? No, I don't. All right, okay, big girl now, let's go, let, do your thing. Uh, do you need a, do you need a, hey, I think on this song, you know, you could do this, 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 or, uh, listen, let me do my thing and just get the chorus and put the harmonies and then mix my album. It's, it's, that's my project. I, <laughs> we did the whole album. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, the album, when, when everybody heard the album, yeah, the album, uh, my partner did, who was doing the distribution said, this will not work and in front of the artists. And now then I had to come and, you know, fix some things and then put out the album, but it was not the success of the first two. And that's the thing the artists don't understand. We all need somebody that has a role that is not the same as us. We all need somebody yeah. who's the, you know, the, 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 the producer. In, in the US, they call him the producer. Not the executive yeah, producer, yeah. not the beat maker, but the producer. Somebody who, yeah, yeah. who's here to tell you, hey, this song is, is whack. What you mean? This exactly. is a song about my grandma. It's whack. Yeah, it's whack. 
do it again. We all need that person. When you don't, we, we need somebody who's going to tell us, hey, you're lazy here. Or, hey, you don't have a song for the radio. Or you don't have five songs for the clubs. We need that person. If you don't have that person, a friend, if you don't have this, you're going to fuck yourself. And I realized that a lot of those times, those artists, they go on tour together. Mm-hmm. And instead of having intelligent people around them who are no. for their, and who understand the That's business as work. well, they would talk, they no. would talk between dummies. <laughs> they actually have intelligent people around them, but it's just that intelli- the intelligence of these people, of these folks is, 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 uh, is targeted towards, um, is used towards, you know, you know, ad- ad- taking advantage of their stupidity or yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Lack of humility because it's the ego that leads them to. It's funny because uh, earlier today, uh, tonight, I had a conversation on, uh, on Clubhouse with you know a couple of guys from the Afro scene, like the UK. Uh, Etc. Morocco. Oh, look at what my on. what my app, iPad is playing. Oh snap! That's one of the parties. Yeah, that's you performing at a uh, docks. Damn, those were the ah, oh, Crystal. 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 Was, no, that was not docks. That was uh, that was uh, Crystal. That's you at Crystal, yeah. Oh my god, those were the days. <laughs> yep. Yeah, go ahead. Feel so far, so far away. Fuck. Yeah, you were, were talking. Like, you know, there was a couple of guys like talking about, you know, like oh, um, so distribution. They were talking about YouTube and like, you know, does it make sense to have any videos? And you know, artists come with all these expectations, and you know, we are all independent labels, and videos cost so, cost so much money. And I was listening to all the guys, and I was like, yeah, but brother, y'all talk as if we're in the 1990s, man. This is 2021. You can buy a very decent quality camera for 400 quid, maybe less than that. You have one in your pocket. And with a nice concept and idea, you shoot a video clip. It could be as conceptual as you want it to be. And it costs you zero. Yeah. Oh, unless you want to have me be a little bit fancy, buy some lights on Amazon. 150 euros, you have a set of lights. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not the best quality, but it's cool. It does the work, and you're good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you're right. I mean, of course, I'm right because that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, I was seeing because we were talking about like you know, and, and I was like, yeah, you gotta remember, artists are very ego oriented. Artists are very selfish and self centered. You know, they all pretend to be there for the love and this, but it's at the end of the day, them and them first. And as a producer and as a label, like. You go if you, if we don't educate people prior to anything. Unfortunately, we're gonna have situations that will lead this industry to continuously because we have a, it's an embryo of an industry. Our frost really isn't anything really. It's something in terms of sound, but it's nothing in terms of industry, in terms of structure. Mm-hmm. So we're like now trying to really shape shape up these things. You know, I was like, yeah, but the problem is that the mentalities, not only of the label, the label owners, and that's already one thing to change on its own. Because it's a very ghetto, it, it's bit, very ghettoized or ghetto. It's very ghetto, in, not in the sense of ghetto as in like hood or anything, but it's like, you know, it's very it's a, it's a, it's a close circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so the and the artists also go the same way, and it's all about like. And I was like, "Yo, guys, you know, let me ask you a question: How much longer do you want to impress your peers with the beat that you make? Because I am doing no music to impress none of y'all. I mean, I used to, mm-hmm. but at this point in my career, and I speak with the weight of my career behind me, of course, 20 years in the game, I can't afford to speak like that. But I'm not. I'm now. I've now learned through the years that music should yes. It should be appreciated by your peers, but the number one person, the number one people that need to appreciate it is the consumers. The clients, because they're the ones that are going to be paying, paying, paying the bills. Because yep. if I, for, as far as I know, no DJs has helped pay my bills or has supported my music by purchasing it. They expect a free download. So with all due respect, a, DJ, a fellow DJ, yeah, it's cool, it's nice, it's always good to get the cosign. 
but it's not going to pay your bills. So your target should be and your focus should be making sure that you service the consumer, the clients, the listeners, your fans with content that you know will make them feel uh, good. Oof.